guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is this exciting video because it is gonna be my birthday glam get ready with me. When it is your birthday, why can't you wear a shit ton of makeup? Why can't you? If you can't wear any other day of the year or if people say like, um, you don't need to be wearing that much makeup every day. Well, today is the day. This is gonna be a very me glam. I'm thinking dark, I'm thinking sexy, I'm thinking so much makeup that like I can't move. I'm just kidding, but we are gonna be wearing a lot of makeup today because you know I want it to last throughout all my birthday festivities by the way it's not my birthday today my birthday is on Saturday but I thought that this makeup look would be good for kind of Friday night glam Saturday night glam so I thought I'll just post it on a Thursday so I'm super excited to get filming yes I've had a spray tan thank you I want to be a bronzed goddess for my birthday but it's now time for post notification bell shout out time <laughs> and this week it goes to Shannon Doherty I feel like it's Irish Shannon Doherty, who says, literally didn't stop smiling throughout this video. You two are hilarious. Subscribed. Thank you, girl. I am so excited that you guys loved my previous video collab. If you haven't seen it, I will insert a card here. I was going to do like a birthday kind of get glam and lit get ready with me type video like I did before. But it's kind of half 11 in the morning and I feel like if I start drinking now, that's a problem. Or maybe it's not, but I feel like it is. But let me know if you want me to do one of those get lit and glam get ready with me because I know you guys love my last one. Just let me know in the comment section down below. Ramble done. Can you tell I'm excited? I hope so. You should be too. Let's get started. So I am gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera, but then I'm just gonna zoom you in because we're gonna do the eyes first. I feel like, why not? There's gonna be glitter involved. I don't want it to fall down on my face. Haven't actually got much of an idea what I'm gonna do. I like think that I do, but I just know it's gonna be bronzed, dark, sexy, sultry, whatever. So let's go ahead and sort these brows out and get back to the eyes. Okay, our brows are done and eyes are primed. Now we can actually move on to the eyeshadow. I've got a lot of like loose products just kind of like flying around. I kind of need to like move these out of the way. Also, if you're interested in what I used on my eyebrows, it is just the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil number four and a dip brow from Anastasia Beverly Hills in shade dark brown through the front. So for eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using this palette here from Morphe. This is the 35M Boss Babe eyeshadow palette. Literally just screams autumn to me and glam. So I'm just going to kind of make my way through the palette. I'm going to start off with the matte orange shade and we're going to kind of go for a winged out shape today I think because we've got some winged out wispy lashes and kind of want like a smoky liner vibe so feel free to blow it out as much as you want and then we can just clean it up with a wipe so I'm just using a big fluffy brush right through my crease I actually have an event tonight so I'm glad I'm kind of like doing my makeup now even though I'm not going to be leaving for it for about another you know eight hours but we just want to create that soft initial transition colour and you guys know it's obviously going to be a warm tone. I feel like warm tones just complement everyone, you know? And they just make my eyes pop and that's like one thing I always aspire to do with makeup is just enhance my features that are already there and with my blue eyes, orange eyeshadow is its best pal. On a slightly more defined crease brush, I'm just going to be taking this brown shade right here. I've been really loving those like camel tones at the moment. I think they just look really complimentary on everyone, especially if you're going for like a gold and like or a dark brown smoky eye. I think they're like a nice soft neutral shade that's not too you know like reddy orangey and they're really buildable as well I'm literally obsessed with this palette at the moment I'm always using it and we're just gonna be a buffing that into the crease now you can like cut out the crease and use like a pressed shadow if you want I'm actually gonna be using a liquid eyeshadow which kind of like cuts your crease and tidies up everything for you so I'm not really concentrating too much on being tidy on my lid Ooh, we're getting deeper and deeper I'm now gonna take this dark kind of plummy brownie whoa, shade right here to make it deeper you guys know the drill you just make your way through the matte shades in your crease until you're kind of happy with the intensity you don't have to go so dark but I've been really loving the way that how like bright my eyes look when I wear a darker shadow I always used to kind of scare away from dark shades on my lid but I've been really loving it recently and I think they just look a lot more kind of striking you know and that's exactly what we want. So after this video, I feel like I'm gonna start things rolling with the Halloween videos. If you guys have any like cool, unique ideas, let me know. Because I wanna do something different and 
like creative I do have a few ideas and some I definitely think I'm just gonna post on Instagram maybe I'll just post my kind of looks on Instagram first and then if you guys want me to film a full-on YouTube tutorial on them then I will because there's nothing worse than like putting out content that no one actually really wants to see and if, if it's simple enough that you feel like you can just recreate it from the picture then I won't bother but my favorite look that I've seen so far and I'm tempted to do it on myself for Halloween is the violet Beauregard look that I've seen kind of go viral with like the blue nose and the blonde wig like I love that just because Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is one of my favorite films of all time especially the one obviously with Johnny Depp in it like that creation of it is one of my favorite films ever I don't know why it just is it brings back a lot of childhood memories for me so I feel like I might do that for Halloween but obviously I want to do my own looks so let me know in the comment section down below so I'm going to stop with the crease colors there and move on to the lid shade now I'm going to be using this shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadow from Stila you guys know I'm obsessed with these I love the glitter ones and I love the kind of more metallic ones as well this one is in the shade vivid smoky quartz and it's the most gorgeous dark bronzy golden brown as I'm applying it to the lid you'll see it's so easy to cut the crease with these it's just like the perfect product and it makes things so much easier like I just love that color and product it makes things so much quicker and easier I'm obsessed it makes a really good base as well so I'm gonna take this shimmery shade right here and press that kind of on the top just to set that all in place and really emphasize the like dark shimmer shade that we've got going on there pretty much like the same color so this is just gonna kind of set it in place and give us a more powdery base so we can pop down some glitter yeah, I'm just, it's like, it's like not too dark, but it's dark enough. Okay, so I'm just going to dip back into that red brown and like diffuse this situation just so it's all tidy underneath because like I said, we are going to be wearing glitter. Duh, it's my birthday, but we obviously just want it to look tidy. Okay, so for glitter today, we're going to be using the Revolution Out Out glitter so obsessed with this stuff it's the most gorgeous copper golden bronze i love it just adds such a gorgeous sparkle and like really complimentary color to the eye when you're out and the lights hit you and it's like bang 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 you know what i'm saying so that's the look we're going for for our birthdays i'm just gonna use some revolution glitter glue as well to apply this all over the lid and then we'll be back yes lads the glitter is on. I've also just highlighted my inner corner and underneath my brows while I was there. Just using the white shimmery gold from the palette. I'm really just loving that shade. Now I'm going to take the matte black and mix it with the dark brown that's just above it from the palette and create like a smoky, you know, like a winged liner but just with eyeshadow. And obviously we can tidy this up if needs be with the white. I just think it just adds a little a little sunsome. It's like not as harsh as just like a normal, you know, winged liner. It's just a bit softer, a bit more diffused, just a bit more sexy. And I feel like that's what we want. Whenever I'm going over glitter though, I always make sure to dab, not drag. Dab, not drag. We're just kind of pressing. But then when I get to like the outer part, just creating that wing. And it doesn't matter if it's messy underneath, like I said, gonna use the wipe. Wipes are our best friend. I know they look really like, what? But let's tidy up with a wipe. Amazing, so we have all cleaned up underneath the eyes. The wings have been completed. I feel like I'm normally doing lashes at this point, but I might just hold off for a set and move straight onto the skin and then go back to completing the eyes and then we will do that then. So now it is time for the skin, which you guys know is my favorite part. Okay, so for skin, you wanna use like your favorite skin products of all time. We're going all out. It's my birthday, so I'm gonna go ahead and oh, gonna go ahead and moisturize my skin with MAC strobe cream because I am gonna be wearing kind of long wearing matte foundations today so I just want to make sure that my base super hydrated and glowy and this is just one of my favorite like prepping and priming moisturizers 
of all time. So for primer, I'm going to be using the MUA Pro Base Smooth and Blur Stick. I feel like this is a dupe for the Milk Makeup Blurring Stick, which I've seen so many people rave about when it comes to primer, and this is a super affordable version, and I've been loving the way this looks underneath my makeup. Now we have prepped our skin, we can move on to foundation, and I can't decide which foundation to wear, and I'm tempted to use both, but I'm scared they're just going to be really, really dark. So I've got the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop, and the Huda Beauty Faux Filled Foundation. I know that this one looks good in pictures, but I'm so desperate to try this one and wear it on camera for you guys. So I might do like one pump of each. Yeah, I feel like I'm going to do that. They're of a very sort of similar colour as well, so let's go ahead and work this into the skin. Oh honey, this coverage is not coming to play. No, no, no. We need to be looking flawless for pictures or anything like that. Hey Siri, what's the time? It's 12.15. Thanks. So now foundation is complete, we can go ahead and lighten it slightly and brighten it slightly. So we're going to be taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Medium. If you guys haven't tried this yet, you need to, although the Revolution Concealer is a really good dupe for this, but I feel like nothing beats the original. And I always just like to take it down the center of my face and then just take a little bit of it to clean up and sharpen our wings. This is another one of my like favorite parts of doing makeup, especially when I've done a winged look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and blend this out. Like I said, now it's time for the cream contour and we're gonna be using the Revolution Foundation Stick. This is in the shade F13. It's just kind of like the perfect, I love foundation sticks for cream contour because they just whoop, whoop, ooh, 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 ooh. Easy. So I'm just going to take my stippling brush to blend this out and it's like just the right amount. So I'm now going to go ahead and set my face with a powder. Now I'm taking the products inspired by the way I saw Shayla set her makeup in a video where I literally was only watching that video because I saw her post a picture on Instagram and her skin looked insane. So I wanted to know what she used. So she goes ahead and sets her makeup with Studio Fix powder. One in a lighter shade and one in a slightly dark shade. So the lighter shade underneath her eyes, dark shade on her face and then goes in with the Huda Beauty powder to bake and I know that seems excessive but like I said it is my birthday so if there's time to be excessive it's now so this is the shade NC20 which I'm not sure that might be a little bit too light but this just adds like coverage and it sets everything in place because this foundation is technically yeah like I said it's like a powder a powder foundation oh my god I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on this side, just really like packing it to set everywhere where we where we placed a brighter concealer. And then just kind of through the T-zone, like so. And now I'm gonna take the shade NC40 to just, you know, set the rest of my face. Not gonna lie right now, my face is looking flawless, honey. Flawless. Before we bake, I am just going to emphasize my contour a little bit more and I'm just going to take these two shades right here from the NYX Powder Contour Kit just to... Hello. Just to enhance it slightly before we bake and sharpen and set it all in place. Oh, honey. Honey. So now we are all contoured, I'm going to go ahead and use the Huda Beauty powder to kind of just bake and sharpen up anything else. This does have a slightly like yellower undertone to it, which is really good for brightening. And I don't really like to bake for too long because I feel like it can dry out my skin. So that's long enough for me. Okay, now that the skin is kind of set and contoured, we can move it back on to the eyes. And I'm just going to dip my brush, this is like a precise fluffy brush in that camel shade from the same Morphe palette and run that all underneath my eyes. I feel like this just really ties everything together, really adds to the sultry, smoky effect. And I just love the way that it makes your eye color just stand out that little bit more. It's now time for mascara and lashes. And the lashes today I'm going to be wearing are from Doll Beauty. They're in the style Esmeralda, but I couldn't find them anywhere online. So I've left a similar Doll Beauty style linked in the description that is like just as peng as these. So I'm going to go ahead and cut and pop these on and I will show you the finished eye look. Okay, guys, these are the eyes complete. 
how me are they for one and two I feel like you could switch out with any sort of glitter or shades of shadow that you want and it was just a really quick and easy makeup look like there was no really like hard part of it I use really easy products and kind of like a small amount of products too in terms of like the eye makeup and I just think it looks so perfect for any sort of like glam event like a birthday so now let's move on to the rest of the face okay so to complete the face it's not going to be a me glam look without a shimmery bronzer and I really have been loving this one consistently this is the MAC mineralized skin finish in gold deposit when you've like cream contoured and then powder contoured I don't really want to put like another heavy duty bronzing product like on my skin this just adds the most gorgeous glow and not only warms up the skin but yeah adds that little like pre-base highlight that looks like all the tanning that you've done is <laughs> natural but it's not but they don't need to know. always like to take it down onto like my chest area as well because it has got that gorgeous shimmer don't know what that was, but that's when you know it's good. For blusher, I'm just taking this Sephora Collection blusher in Shame On You. It's in the shade, like, number one. Pretty sure you can get this kind of matte shade of blusher anywhere. I tried to find it, but I, I couldn't, so it's literally just, like, a pinky blusher shade. Just adds a light little, like, tickle to my cheeks. And finally, for highlighter, I'm going to be taking the Hourglass Champagne Flash Highlighting Stick. I'm going to be using this as my base for my powder highlighter. I'm just going to kind of dab that onto the skin and kind of up, like so. Then just taking a little brush to diffuse that in. You guys know I love a cream or, like, liquid highlighter as a base. This one, it just blends, like, effortlessly into the skin, like, without disrupting my makeup at all. And I'm using the same brush that I would do if it was, like, a liquid. I love this brush so much from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. It is the E13. And finally, for the powder highlighter on top, I'm going to use MAC Whisper of Guilt. This is, like, one of those signature gold shades, like Laura Geller Gilded Honey, Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood. That kind of gold. This is just the limited edition packaging. It is a permanent product, and I've left it linked down. Down below but I just love the way it looks on the skin and I don't know why I don't use it more Bam! now the skin is complete I'm gonna go ahead and use my favorite setting spray this is the revolution hyaluronic fix hydrating and plumping makeup setting spray honestly this I don't know what it is but my skin generally just looks so flawless when I apply this, less caked than I know that it looks right now. Just really refreshes the skin, it really kind of lifts and plumps the skin. Let's go. Now the skin is fully complete, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the NYX Suede Matte Lip Pencil in Sandstorm. I'm then going to go ahead and apply the Dose of Colours No Shade Lipstick, which was from the original Desi Katie collection, but it is permanently available on their website, so I'll have left that link down below. And finally, on the top, I'm going to use the new Fenty Beauty Diamond Lip Topper to complete this look. So I'll be back to show you the finished results, and then we can move on to the hair, which is super quick, super easy, and is game changing sorry about that but this is the makeup complete it is so me i feel so glam and this is the kind of look that i always feel good and confident in so i really hope you guys loved the makeup but now we can move on to the hair which i found this thing and it's just like it's it's game changing so as you can see i have tied my hair up and that is because we're going to be wearing a clip on ponytail now i found this a brand called lula lula bells they do extensions they do wigs and they do like clip on hair pieces and i really just love the appearance of like a long luscious ariana grande style ponytail and i did find a way of doing it before but it was like wrapping extensions around this ponytail and it was looking really separated and it just wasn't cute so i found this and the way to apply this is that you can see it kind of has just like a hole hole there with like a retractable string that you can like tighten around so all you do is tie your hair up tie it into kind of like the flattest bun that you can just like a little a little mushroom like so then they do kind of have clips inside to make it easier for you so i'm gonna go ahead and pin the front clip just into the front of the bun and then the back clip like underneath the bun and then there is a retractable bit of string which then tightens it all around the bun and then you pull up the little the little claspy seal when it is all in place and like I'm fucking shook right now. If you thought I was a catfish before, think again. They do suggest that you take a little bit of the ponytail and just kind of neaten it up, wrap it round, just hide 
hide the obvious kind of weave-esque looking parts and just pin it like so it does kind of come pre-styled with like a little bit of a loose wave through it but i feel like you could i don't know maybe like adjust you could have it dead straight like a like a long sleek ponytail or just leave it like this like i am doing i literally just feel like ariana grande right now i'm loving it so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and this get ready with me maybe you found some new glam products that you are excited to try yourself i've left everything linked down below if you are interested so yeah this is the finished look i really hope you guys enjoyed this video next time i see you guys on here i will be 22 which is insane like i said my birthday is on saturday so i hope you guys have an amazing weekend and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Maybe time told us that we were different.